Hey everyone, welcome to The Daily Word. I'm really glad that you've joined me. And today for our Daily Word, we're going into Psalm 25. I'd like to share the first couple of verses there with you. And then let's talk just for a few minutes today about the fact that the right path is not always the easy path. And in fact, um, most often it's not, but it is the best path because, because it is the path that we walk together with the Lord. So if you would, hear the word of the Lord, uh, chapter 25 of Psalms, verses 1 and 2. O Lord, I give my life to you. I trust in you, my God. So we know that in order to receive salvation, we must receive Jesus Christ. That is to say that we repent of our sins, we turn to the Lord, we receive His grace, we put our trust in Jesus, who He is, what He has done on the cross, we turn away from our old lives and to Him. And because we're receiving Jesus, we're receiving the Lord. We receive Him as Savior. We receive Him as Lord. And we are giving ourselves over to Him, the one who gave His life for us. We are, in fact, transferring ownership. We are saying, Lord, I am yours. I give my life to you. 1 Corinthians six nineteen and 20 says, don't you realize that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who lives in you and was given to you by God? You do not belong to yourself, for God bought you with a high price. So you must honor God with your body. And so having given, our, given ourselves over to the Lord, we give ourselves to follow Him. We say, Lord, I am no longer my own, but yours. Lead me, command me. We read in our scripture, in Psalm 25, verses 4 and 5, Show me the right path, o, o Lord. Point out the road for me to follow. Lead me by your truth and teach me. For you are the God who saves me. All day long I put my hope in you. God, we understand, of course, has all knowledge and all wisdom. God, in fact, is above time and history. He's not captured within. Of course, Jesus comes and enters into time and history. He takes on flesh. He dwells among us. But God created time. He stands above time. And so, uh, as hard as this is for us to get our minds around, as finite as they are, God sees the end from the beginning. And so, of course, with, with that perspective and with all knowledge and all wisdom and all love, he, of course, uh, would know the right path for us. He would lead us in the right way. And yet, as broken people in a broken world, we know that we stumble on that path, that there are times when we, we sin and, and we, we mess up. We have what is, in fact, a daily battle with sin. And thankfully, thankfully, there is grace, all sufficient grace from the Lord. This is verse 11. For the honor of your name, O Lord, forgive my many, many sins. And in fact, we need that grace, and thanks be to God, He gives us that grace. And also, in a broken world, we understand that following the Lord, following God, will not be easy. Not just because of our struggle with sin and rebellion against God with our own pride and, and the desires of the flesh and so forth, but because of the, the resistance of the world and of the devil to the things of God, to the way of the Lord. Verses 17 and, uh, through 19. My problems go from bad to worse. Oh, save me from them all. Feel my pain and see my trouble. Forgive all my sins. See how many enemies I have and how viciously they hate me. The truth is that we, we have issues in our lives, just uh, the, the things that we go through with health and relationships and, and uh, jobs and, and struggles of various kinds. We, we have trouble, we have sin and rebellion that we fight against, and also we have enemies. In fact, the scripture tells us that that in fact flesh and blood is not the enemy that we're really fighting, that it is in fact Satan, it is, it is the adversary 
right? And so we know that we are in this battle. And nonetheless, nonetheless, God is always faithful. God is always good. He always carries us through. And, and He is, listen, this is the thing. He is always worth the struggle to be close to Him, to follow Him, to know what it is to walk with Him, no matter what that means, no matter what the challenge is, no matter what it is that might happen to us because we're following the Lord, He is always worth it. Verses 14 and 15, the Lord is a friend to those who fear Him. He teaches them His covenant. My eyes are always on the Lord, for He rescues me from the traps of my enemies. The Lord is a friend to those who fear Him, those who acknowledge Him, those who love Him, those who determine that their lives will be lived in reverence to Him for His glory and His glory alone. And may it be so of each one of us, each one of us, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And friends, until we have a chance to speak again, I pray that God would bless you and that He would keep you.